In today's video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to install shaders for Minecraft using these four simple steps. I'll also be showing you how to do this without having to install Optifine. This has got to be one of the most simple ways to install shaders ever. Just follow my lead and you'll have your very own shaders installed by the end of this video. Click the first link in the description, it'll direct you to Fabric Loader website right here. So what you want to do is you want to download for Windows right here. As you can see, it will pop up right here. Depending on your device, it could pop up down here in the bottom corner. It says right here, most mods will also require you to install Fabric API into your mods folder. We also want to click that right there. It will direct us to CurseForge website right here, the Fabric API. Then what you want to do is you want to find the latest version right here. We're not going to want to do the snapshot, so we're going to hit 1.20.1. Or most mods won't always be all of them out, so we'll just hit 1.21 right here. So click the three dots right here on the top one. Make sure it says 1.21 right here. Then we're going to hit download file. Takes a couple of seconds right there. There you go. You want to hit keep. Then once you did that, you want to click the second link in the description and it will direct you to here where you can get download Iris shaders on CurseForge. So then you want to click 1.21 right here. Then you want to make sure right here in the middle it says 1.21. If it's not, it won't work. So make sure it says 1.21. Download file. Then you want to click the third link in the description. Sodium. It'll direct you to the Sodium download page. Then you want to hit 1.21. You want to make sure that down here it says 1.21. Same as the others. Download file. Now you want to go to your desktop area right here. You want to hit your file explorer. You want to go to downloads. Then you want to minimize your screen just a little bit so you can select all these, drag them out onto your desktop. Then what you want to do is this right here, this fabric installer right here, it just looks like a cloth, pixelated cloth. You want to click it, it'll pop up this window right here, Minecraft version 1.20.1. Like I said, we wanted all of our mods are 1.21. We want to do that. Then you hit install this button right here. Then it's then it'll say successfully installed. Many mods required. Fabric API. We got that. Then you could just hit this X button. Then you want to click on Minecraft. As you can see, it'll say Fabric Loader 1.21 down there in the corner. Hit play. Hit play again. What this will do is it'll create a mods folder as soon as we launch the game. Okay, once you're in Minecraft, you want to just hit quit game. Hover over to here above your Windows icon right here. You want to right click, hit run. Then what you want to do is you want to type in percent, app data percent right here. No caps, no, no spaces or anything like that. Then you hit OK. Then it'll pop up this right here. You want to click Minecraft, then you want to find mods right here. Minimize this right here, then you want to take these three things that we downloaded right here, then drag and drop them right here. Now if you, if you want to make it where it's easier, where you can download mods every single time without having to type in percent app data percent every time, you can click your mods and drag it right here to this little area right here. It may look different depending on your... your um, Windows or whatever you use is now we got to find the shaders that you want to download you can choose whatever shader you want I have a video showing the best shaders it will be linked a card up in the top right corner and you can click on that to find your perfect shader that suits you the best now if you have a higher end computer you want to download complementary shaders and, but if you have a more of a mid PC, you want to download super duper vanilla 
shaders. And if you have a really low end computer that can't hardly handle super high graphics, you want to download Makeup Ultra Fast. This is an FPS friendly shader. It will run smoothly on whatever computer you have. So then you want to select one, make sure it says 1.21 down here. Download file. We're just going to download all three of them. All right, now we have all of our shaders installed. You want to hit play. Then once that's all loaded up, we can install begin installing our shaders. Okay, once you're in Minecraft, you want to click any world, play selected world, or pause, hit options, video settings. Now, you, as you can see here, this is different due to iris loader. Shader packs, minimize your screen. Now what we're gonna do is open up your file explorer again. Hit downloads. Now these are gonna be your three selected shaders that we downloaded. Drag and drop onto your Minecraft area. Exit out of that, full screen this. There we go. Now we have our shaders successfully installed. As you can see, if you click complimentary unbound, enabled, hit done. Like I said, it depends on your computer strength, on what you can handle. Done. Done. Back to game. And as you can see, we have shaders. It's a bit laggy because it's on my laptop and my laptop's pretty pathetic. <laughs> You gotta choose a less powerful shader, like Makeup Ultra Fast. You click Done. This is why Makeup Ultra Fast is pretty good for lower end computers. See, it runs pretty smoothly. And if if you want to see Super Duper Vanilla, you can just click on Shader Pack, Super Duper Vanilla, hit Done. Done. This shader is pretty awesome. It's pretty smooth running too. But yeah, that's that's basically it, everybody. If you enjoyed this video and thought it was helpful, please consider subscribing and dropping a like. It really helps me out. We are super close to 100 subscribers. I would really appreciate it, and have a good day. Bye.